Hi hey guys, it's about 3 in the morning. I figure I get this webcam video out. It's kind of hard for me to do webcam videos unless I'm like recording things and stuff or in my element in the garage. Um, the Stamper LT11 tractor plow, the, the arm is being welded to the mechanic. I took it there on Monday. It's now Friday. So when he gets around to fix it, I'll be happy to be done. He said $30, $35 for the job, which is okay. I don't mind. You figure he's got to pay to run the electricity and the, the, the welder, the MIG, and it's going to be done. So um, when that gets done, I'll record a video of it and show you how it works. Maybe we'll get some snow and I'll get another plowing video. Um, What else? Um, we went to the Walmart Black Friday sale getting stuff for Christmas. It was mobbed in there with people. It was horrible. I nearly took out a poor old lady in a wheelchair coming back from the, the, the laboratory bathroom at a, the, the Walmart had to go real bad drink a lot of Pepsi Pepsi is good but um not, not to drink Pepsi but when you go to the Walmart when you, you even make way to the people and it's like make way to the people it's like a maze there but a little old lady in a wheelchair almost ran into her with the cart I'm like sorry 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 I gotta get through she's nearly knocking the Xbox 360's over with her fist. She's like, I hate those bastards. My grandson's like the uh, the PlayStation 4 better. And she's like, smashing them and hitting them and stuff with her fingers and stuff. And, and uh, the, 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 the Nana's daughter's like, cut that out, Grandma. You shouldn't do this stuff like that. So, um, all kidding aside, the old lady probably just wanted to get out and be around people. She's probably, she was also um, grabbing at one of the, the 60 inch TVs and trying to the, the grass on to it while she was in the wheelchair with it trying to make her way out of the store with it but um so what we we finally got to check out couldn't figure out where to check out it was over in the clothes and stuff and on the floor was this 14 inch maybe 16 Batman and the Joker I saw one and it like ma can I get this can I get this and I felt like I was Ten years old again, asked my mother to get me toys and stuff, and I should talk. I still got some of my wrestling figures I collected during the 90s when I was big into that. Most of them were put away or in the attic. But, um, so we got everything checked out. We picked up two thumb drives, 8 gigabyte, an SD card for my new camera. I picked up on Amazon, which is kind of strange because I can't see, uh, how much time has elapsed of the camera when I make videos? I just gotta kind of guesstimate and hope that it's all there when I go in the house when I get done recording. Um, we got that. I went and drive back a shiny garbage can where it has a, a foot pedal with a where you just lift up the lid, which is quite a, an amazing invention. You don't have to touch the lid to put your trash in there. You could have like salmon all our turkey fingers or something and have to, uh, to, um, be clean and just not touch the lid or something. Also, it helps if you get really mad, you can just whip an apple really hard inside the garbage can, too. So, um, everything checked out. We also got a pressure washer, too, which I thought would be useful on the lawnmowers and spray maybe some Mickey Mouses out of there and stuff if they're dead or alive and make them go swimming somewhere else. I love to swim. I got a lifeguard shirt on, guys. My MC lifeguard shirt found at a dollar store of all places. <laughs> they must have stolen it from a local Y somewhere. <laughs> he fell off a truck and now they're at the dollar store. Kind of love that. So today we're at the Walmart. It was kind of funny. Two funny things happened. So I get there. We have the, all these Christmas stuff. It's all Christmassy. They got poinsettias everywhere and, and little Christmas trees and stuff that you can plant in the yard and it would die in the spring. And then there's like diarrhea all over the floor. I just couldn't believe it. I don't know if like someone went, some dog was in there with a CNI dog or a blind person, or there was like somebody old just had an accident, or maybe somebody mentally challenged had an accident. There's diarrhea all over the floor. People were like rolling the, the carts in it, and people were slipping in it. I'm kidding, guys. It didn't happen. Maybe one of those little hover around people, those hover around. Walmart carts, people could be driving through that and sliding in it and doing like, uh, like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, glides and stuff, I don't know. Drifts, they could be drifting through the, through the diarrhea of Walmart with those carts, like doing drifts, diarrhea drifts, basically. 
like in the fast in the diary of furious but they got it cleaned up pretty good it's just it was the most exciting thing i've ever seen at the walmart besides those tools i picked up for 20 bucks that mechanics tool set i use now but uh, it's, it's pretty different not seeing it on the floor in the bathroom at the walmart and it, it's all over the floor someone could maybe be having a bad day at the subway or maybe just couldn't make it to the bathroom to mess it up or it could have been from the Walmart fried chicken or those chicken nuts they sell there. So when we're getting out of the Walmart where we let someone out pull out in front of us, this guy comes tantruming, having a, a big baby tantrum, just whips the cart right across the front of our car and into the carts and smashes them good. I used to do that stuff when I was maybe 10 years old, not like a 4 year old adult or something. Maybe. He goes home and drinks a bunch of beer and hits his wife. I don't know. That's not good, guys. He's probably taking his frustrations out in the pole Walmart carts. They didn't ask for anything. All they wanted to do was hold, hold his stuff he was bringing home. So, I haven't gotten any more projects in. I wanted. I tried to trade the Simplicity Crafter for st stuff and didn't work out. I also uh, put up some free ads. They didn't pan out. So, the free ads, um, uh, there's a Craftsman, a Snapper, and a Troy Belt tractor. Nothing panned out. The lady never returned my the neighbor and me's call about the, the Simplicity tractor, or the Troy Belt tractor we picked up. So, on the Simplicity tractor, I tried to trade for a 1961 Montgomery Wards tractor. Um, not tractor, motorcycle of all things. I got tractor on the brain. It was a freaking motorcycle. Rusty as hell. No title. Seized engine. I thought I could just get the engine unseized, rebuild the carburetor, or at least clean it and get it running. And I was like, how are you going to ride a motorcycle? You can even walk down the stairs and chew gum at the same time. She didn't want me to get it. I figured I'd just get it running and then sell it with flat tires as so someone could maybe ride it in a field or something. I also wanted to trade my simplicity tractor for, um, throat's getting dry. This is about the 12th time I made this video. I'm not so good at this guys. And I also wanted to trade the Simplicity Tractor for two other Simplicity Tractors that were $75 each. A 8 something or other and a 700 something or other. 60, 70 Simplicity Tractors. No engines. Missing stuff. Rusty as hell. Been sitting out for years. Never heard back. The guy had a 412 and a 411 Simplicity Tractor. Figure you want one in good shape like mine that was run. I never heard back. I was in a trade for a Montgomery Ward tractor too. And then I figure on this one I'll finish the Simplicity tractor and keep it forever. Just keep fixing it till it breaks and the transmission goes. I really got to look at it and figure out what's wrong with it. It could be something underneath. The, the carburetor seems to be fine. I was thinking it's underneath. Something needs to be greased on it or something. I had to look at where the, the, the grease points and stuff. Maybe I gotta lubricate the pulley on the transmission or the idler pulley. What I'm thinking it could be the brakes. The brakes grabbing on, onto it and making it stall out. Because they could be a little frozen. Another simplicity guy told me on that on a, about that on my tractor forums. Everything is winterized except for the, the snapper tractor with the plow on it. Gonna be using that during the winter for plowing. And, uh,. Everything's got the gas out of it. The Snapper Comet needs a primer bulb replaced. I gotta figure out how to do that. Maybe a video on that or something. Find a video or have someone help me figure it out. It's the primer bulb is ripped on the Comet engine. It's uh, taped down the electrical tape. Also, I picked up something really cool. I got a brochure to my Snapper LT11 tractor, and even though it existed, and I thought there would be one out there someday I could find, and I got it for 750 on eBay. It's from the early 80s, and it has pictures of the same tractor as mine. It has a bagger and stuff. So I'll get up a, a video of that when I when I find when it comes in the mail. I'm gonna let you guys go. I covered enough. If I get any more tractors or in or something, I'll video them. I'm gonna replace my replace up my free ad again and offer people gas money for the tractors and stuff to pick up. I'm going to let you guys go. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's the few that watch me and not the many. I love you guys. Peace. Take care. Bye.